Hi and welcome back to another review. Today we are looking at the Leicester City home shirt and this is from the 1992-1993 season. This shirt was purchased from zvbest1.com. All details for the seller will be in the description of this video. Now this is an iconic one um, as, as I'm down the bottom bit here just having the Walker's Crisp sponsor on it and when I saw this on ZV Best One I was like do you know what I love this sponsor I'm gonna have to get this one and have a, a closer look at it. The only thing I have noticed is that it's obviously got a newer tag on it than what you'd expect so it's got the Adidas on there whereas the manufacturer on here is Fox Leisure. don't know if that was part of Adidas I'm assuming not I'm just assuming that's a, a newer tag. Shirt just comes in a standard bag with the health warnings on the reverse. So if you are new around here, make sure you like my video, share it and subscribe to the channel. I do these sort of reviews on a weekly basis. You can leave any comments, questions or messages below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. By doing all those three things, it does help me get my videos out to a wider audience. So as I said, this is from zvbest1.com. Their details in the description. What we'll do now is we'll get the bag open and we'll have a look at the Leicester City home shirt from 1992. Okay, start the top. It's a simple collar, V-neck collar. The Fox Leisure, it's like a, like a velvety feel to it. And that's been probably glued on. Oh, we've got LCFC here, which has been heat pressed vinyl on and the Leicester City Football Club badge. Now, this badge looks the same as the badge that Leicester have now, so whether they've not changed it or not, I don't know. Um, that'd be interesting if it is the same badge back then to what it is now. The Walker's Crisps sponsor is vinyl on. I've got to say, I do like the pattern in the shirt, actually. It's a really nice design. I was just checking then whether it was all one bit of material, but it's not. The arms are a separate bit of material, but it looks good. Move into the bottom. Oh, if I put my hand through it there, you did get an indication of how see-through and lightweight the material is. It is quite a glossy um, sort of feel, nice silky sort of feel to it. The join looks relatively good. Um, yeah, it's a nice, it's a nice shirt. This one, it has got that retro vibes to it. Obviously, being a an early '90s shirt, and I do really like it. We'll flip it around now, we'll have a look at the back, but from the front, yeah, fantastic looking shirt. Right, we're on the back now, and collar, just a standard collar that goes around it. I thought there was a pull there, but it's not. Um, not a lot really to call out on the back, it is just a single bit of material with that interesting design in it. Oh, I wonder what that was there, but it's where the tag, I can just feel it through it, and that's what you can see there. Um, so no name, no number or anything on the back of this one. There is a crease just down there from where the shirt's been in the bag. But once this has been worn or washed, that crease will soon disappear. But yeah, all looks really smart. Um, I do prefer these shirts without the name and number. Just holding that out and actually that arm looks really long. Maybe that's what they were like back then. I don't really know. But yeah, it just looks, looks really long. But hey. Yes, okay, what we'll do now is we'll flip it around and we'll have a look at the inside of the shirt. Okay, we're now on the inside and you can see how the collar, the V-neck collar fits around. It has got up on the old Adidas pockets there, um, but it's not. The collar line looks nice and tidy. The Leicester badge actually has gone on pretty well. Just have the join stitch there, which is nothing to worry about. The Fox Leisure is here. You can see, as I said, that's been, I'd say probably been glued on. We have the LCFC just under here, which obviously you can't see or feel. And then the Walker's Crisp sponsor has gone on absolutely perfect. The crease there is nothing to do with the sponsor. Again, that is just from where the shirt has been in the bag. So that will soon come out. And it has, to be fair, the crease is from the top down to the bottom. So yeah, once it's been washed or worn, that will soon vanish. Where the arm join is, all looks good. Stitch looks fine. Did notice a little bit of excess cotton there on the joint to the side, but not overly bothered by that. And this arm looks tidy as well. So yeah, the inside part so far, all looking good. Okay, we're on the final part of the inside of the shirt, and we'll just take a quick look at the Fox Leisure tag that's in there. It does have the size of XL underneath there. Um, the tag that it comes with, again, it is an Adidas tag. It is one of the newer ones which they've obviously just whacked on there just to make it look like a, an official product. 
But yeah, it's the new Adidas one, and this is Fox Leisure. Stitching again, it continues to look good. Not a lot really when call out on this side. There's no tag down there, it's up here. So there's no washing instructions or anything on this one, but my recommendation would still be hand wash um, your shirt, and then when you dry it, you flip it around and just let it hang dry. Reason for that is obviously we do have the Walker sponsor and the Fox Leisure on there, um, which have been pressed on. Pushing through on the badge, you can see the outline of it, but you can't see the badge itself. So you know that it is got a bit of substantial weight behind the material, but it is still quite lightweight. And there we have it. There is our Leicester City shirt from the 92 season from zvbest1.com. Um, I did have a quick look actually at the um, Leicester shirt from this season and this badge is incorrect. So it shouldn't have this big white rim around it. So we do see these on the newer Leicester City shirts. So if you are obviously looking to buy the official one on eBay or anywhere, make sure your shirt doesn't have this rim around it because if it does, you know you are buying one from the site zvbestone.com or another seller. So that's the watch out for this. The LCFC as well is actually a little bit smaller. It should be a lot bigger than that. Um, and to be fair, I think this was a slightly different color as well. So there are a few differences between this shirt and the official one. Um, so hopefully that will support when you are looking to buy the official one. If there's anything that I've missed, please leave that in the comments or um, below or put, send me a message. It's always interesting to know other things that I missed out. Potentially, this pattern might be slightly different as well, but I'm not sure. But the big one is this badge is not correct. So there we have it. There is our Leicester City shirt from zvbest1.com. All details for the seller will be in the description of this video. If you did enjoy this, please hit the, uh, the like button and subscribe if you're new because I do these sort of reviews on a weekly basis. Again, leave any comments, questions, messages below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Hopefully you have enjoyed it and thank you very much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.